Hey guys, this is David from Benchmark. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the differences between Trimble as a manufacturer of GPS equipment and Hemisphere as a manufacturer of GPS equipment. Just in case you were thinking about swapping over to Hemisphere from the Trimble bandwagon or you just wanted to know the difference between both of them. We're going to be talking about a few things. We're going to be talking about the cost effectiveness. We're going to be talking about the technology itself. And then we're going to be talking about the user experience that you get with each of these systems. So let's get into it. So cost effectiveness. We all know Trimble makes really nice stuff. And we also all know that you pay for it. I got right here a quick search. You can get a Trimble R12i Rover. That comes with the Rover, it comes with the batteries, the charger, an extension pole, and one year of RTX for $37,000 Canadian. For less than that, you can get a full Hemisphere RTK setup. That's a base receiver, a Rover receiver, a Mesa 4 tablet, Field Genius Premium for Windows, tripods, poles, clamps, antennas, batteries, everything you need to get surveying. And you can also get, you know, accessories with that. Bipods, power poles, external batteries, everything you could possibly want and it'll be less expensive than a single R12i rope. We're talking about the technology, they're pretty comparable. We actually filmed a video where we took the R12i out under trees up against buildings and we put it side by side with the S631 and they're pretty pretty comparable. The R12i did well in the open, it did pretty well under trees in high multipath environments. It started to fall off a little bit when you lost the satellite count so when you're up against buildings or near a bridge or anything like that. And now part of the reason the hemisphere stuff can do better is that they actually actually put the resources towards developing the GPS side of their business. Hemisphere's R&D is some of the best in the world. That's why we have the Athena RTK engine. It does incredibly well in high multipath environments. It does incredibly well in low satellite environments. And so you can take this thing where no other receiver can go. I have a customer in South Carolina who got this receiver and took it out into the woods. Now his buddy was a Trimble user, saw the price tag he paid and said, you wasted your money, it's gonna be junk. Took the receiver out into the woods and he got a fix on the property corner on the nail, checking into hundreds. It's a repeatable. So he invited his buddy over for dinner. They took the R12i, couldn't get the shot. So his buddy took the hemisphere and they spent two, three hours trying to break this thing, trying to prove that it's not repeatable. And we actually did a repeatability video and we can put the link to that in the corner here. And every time it's coming in within hundreds, within hundreds. He can't miss this property corner with the hemisphere. So the technology on the hemisphere RTK receivers probably it's a little bit ahead of the Trimble stuff, but it, it is pretty comparable. If you're looking to look at a bit of the specs, I put a spec sheet for the R12i and a spec sheet for the S631 in the description of this video and you can see just how similar they are. If we're talking about user experience, again, Trimble makes nice stuff. It plays really well with each other. Their data collectors play incredibly well with their receivers. Their receivers play incredibly well with their desktop software. It plays nice with their robots. It works great. But if you're one of the many people who maybe likes using a Leica robot or maybe you like using a Top Gun gun or you have an echo sounder that might not be supported in access, all of these things can't work with Trimble software. So then you gotta look at getting another data collector, another set of software, you gotta send data the crews out with multiple handhelds. It just gets confusing. If you're running Field Genius, it's brand neutral. You can use any total station you like. You can use any receiver you like. You can bring in any depth sounder you like. All these things work and they work seamlessly in the Field Genius system. You export it, it'll work with any CAD software. It runs DXF, DWG, CSV, TIN files, anything you need, it can send it out and get it into your CAD. Now, whether that's a Trimble CAD, it can do it. Whether that's a Topcon CAD, it can do it. If it's AutoCAD, Civil 3D, you name it, all of that stuff works great with the Field Genius data. So that's Trimble and that's Hemisphere. Trimble makes nice stuff, does really well in the field. It works well for you, you pay for it. Hemisphere also makes nice stuff. It works really well in the field. You get a better deal for it. In this video, it seems like the Hemisphere is coming out a little bit on top. Now, if you wanna see the comparison we did between the Trimble and the Hemisphere, I'll put that up in the corner here. We took them both into the woods. And if you wanna see the tests we did, on the repeatability of the hemisphere in the woods. I'll also put that up here for you to see. If you have any other questions, maybe you're looking to pick up a hemisphere, maybe you're looking to try one out, um, or you're thinking about switching to hemisphere for a while now, give us a call. I'll put the number on screen below anytime and uh, we'd be happy to help you.